Which you guys got another video on a new way to set up and install Windows 11. So you can see here we have a Windows 7 operating system. There's lots of bloat pre-installed on Windows 11. There's loads of apps that need to be uninstalled, settings that need to be changed, and loads of ads and telemetry need to be turned off as well. This is where you can use something like Fly OOBE, and this is for Windows 11, and it's a really easy way to set up Windows 11. So we're gonna go through and I'll quickly show you. I'm not gonna go through the upgrading process because there is tools on here that allow you to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, but we're gonna concentrate on the out of box experience side of things. But again, I think the creator of this software has done quite a lot to make it super easy for you to get up and running and have the PC that you've always wanted with Windows 11, because let's face it, no one wants to stock Windows 11 because of the nature of it so it does go through great detail of what it actually does and what it doesn't do and you can read all this information i'll leave a link for it on my website here so you can read that at your own leisure now quick disclaimer use at your own risk this guide is provided for informational purposes only i'm not responsible for any damage to your computer or loss of data or any other consequences that may result from following these instructions Proceed with caution and ensure you have a proper backup before making any changes to your system because this does make changes to your operating system. Maybe try it in a virtual machine first to see whether you like it or not. But if you're happy to continue, then you can head over to the download sections page and download at your own risk. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is head over to my downloads folder here. I am on a virtual machine here for testing purposes. So what we're going to do is go into our download section. We need to extract this. So I'm going to right click on the actual application and extract all. So let me go ahead and click extract and this will create a file here. Now you need to right click and run this as administrator. Otherwise it won't be able to make changes to certain features, but it gives you a quick look at all the scripts right here. You can see Chris Titus text app, and a bunch of other ones like create a restore point, which is always advisable if you're doing it on your own PC. So this is what the actual application consists of. You can have a look at it right here. So you need to right click and run this as administrator. And you can see it says unknown publisher. And that's because the program hasn't been registered, but we're going to run it anyway because we're in a virtual machine. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let the program populate. And what we can do is then take a look at it. So you should see something looking like this right here. Discard all the information at the top like Windows 11 installed because we've already got it installed. We're not using this as downloading the ISO and upgrading. We're just going to take a look at what the actual application does on the OOBE part. So running this application at the beginning, we're going to see on the home page here, there is customize OOBE, tweak and personalize after the installation. So if you want to use this for upgrading, you can do. I've not covered that in this video. If you want to see a separate video on that, let me know in the comments section down below. But we're going to go into the OOBE uh, customization. You can see Windows mode, dark, app mode, light, and centered or left. I'm going to leave it on the left. And we can apply these changes. And this will give us a dark theme with transparency. So I'm going to leave that toggled there. And you can change the background if you want to at this stage or change accent colors if you want to or change desktop icons. Once we click apply, it's going to apply this and give us a nice dark theme rather than having the light theme. Next, it's going to ask you to choose your browser. So we have Edge installed on here and that's set as our default. If you want to choose another browser, you can do. And this will allow you to download other browsers via this app or which is what I'd recommend you do is go to the software creator's website like Google Chrome and download your actual browser there. You can see you can download them via this method right here. It does come direct from the source, but I would always advise going to the site and downloading it there and installing it. Next, you get the option to uninstall or disable the AI features that are built into Windows 11. That is Copilot and Recall and it's embedded just about everywhere, as you can see here inside Edge. And it's also on applications like Paint and Notepad and things like that. So if you want it all gone, you can check mark it all like so and turn off. And the PowerShell 
box will pop up and it will disable them just like so and that's all been done so you don't have to go around doing it manually yourself and you can connect to the computer here via the network via wi-fi or ethernet i'm leaving this as ethernet and we can connect here but i'm just going to move on to the next stage there is my ethernet connection i'm going to leave that as is and we can now move on to the next stage which is setting up a user account so you can see right here when i click on the next button it says create a user for this pc so local account or microsoft account because we've already got windows 11 installed we don't have to worry about this but if you are upgrading you can use this to set this up during the setup process and it will give you a local account with all these settings so here this is where we can manage our installed applications so if you want to uninstall all the applications during the upgrade of windows 10 to windows 11 or you can do it at the desktop like i'm doing right here then you can do all you need to do is check mark the settings that you want you can search for apps or you can use the balance which is essential plus uh, store recommended by their settings right here but there is other settings which you can go through like full microsoft experience everything included and then you've got some other ones here as well i'm going to leave it on balanced and then we're going to check mark these and remove them but there is other ones and you can go through this like a fine tooth comb and remove what you don't need on the pc just be careful what you're removing because you may want some of these later on down the line so if you remove these they're going to be uninstalled from your pc once you're happy with your selection just remove the selected apps and it'll uninstall them it's that simple and you've got I don't want any of these apps and you can check whatever one you want so let me just show you uh, this other one here so you can see it this is the full microsoft experience and you can go through here and it should have all of the apps that are installed here and you can see there will be a ton of them here like edge and things like that on on here as well and you can check mark these as well and remove these selected ones if you wish be careful what you're selecting here because you don't want to end up bricking your operating system Next, we can configure our device by clicking the next button. So let's go ahead and go there. And from here, you can use the drop down to select what you want to configure. For instance, if you want to configure, say, Microsoft Edge, you can do, or privacy, or any of these settings right here. Or you can use their quick settings, which is recommended. But if you want to go through individually like this, you can do by checking them one at a time and being very careful on what you want to actually disable. Or you can just toggle all of them by clicking on the toggle all button and it will toggle all of these on and you can apply it and it will remove these settings from there. Like disable shopping assistant and disable access to a collections feature and things like that. So if you want to disable a lot of this stuff, you can go through with a fine tooth comb and disable what you want singly or you can toggle all or you can just use their recommended settings, whatever you want to go through right here. Once you're happy, you can click apply and it will apply these settings for you. Now, of course, it's got some really good ones in here like ads because no one wants ads plastered in their operating system. So here you can see this will go ahead and remove these. So you can see disable file explorer ads, disable finish setup ads and lock screen tips and ads, disable personalized ads and settings ads and so on and so on. Or you can just use the toggle all and apply i'm pretty sure you don't want any of these so just disable them and you can go through here there's gaming and there's also other ones like privacy and things like that which is what i would go through now if you play games on uh, microsoft anything to do with microsoft uh, then like xbox or anything like that or microsoft stuff then leave all the uh, xbox and uh, gaming section alone but the privacy section you might want to go through as well and the system and check those settings as well before you can continue so let me go ahead and select this privacy it's been a bit clunky there but it's now done so you can see disable uh, activity history and location tracking and things like that and telemetry you can do that here and apply those settings to your system now like i said there was a user quick uh, section here for the recommended section let me just show you that right here enable end task and a bunch of other stuff here so you can go through here if you want to go through this section next there's an installed app section right here i would always advise people to go to the software's 
website and download it that way. But if you want simplicity and quickness, you can go through this option right here. If you've uninstalled Notepad and things like that, you are going to need to replace these with other third party apps that don't have uh, Copilot pre installed on them and other. AI technology so you can do that right here there's ones like discord and things like that here as well and other ones like Microsoft Teams Spotify and all that sort of stuff so once you're happy you can check for Windows updates here or you can check on the actual built-in Windows update section this is using exactly that same method it just tells you through this app which I think is quite handy Next, there's an option here to run some other applications like create a restore point, which I think should have been at the very beginning if you're going to be using it via this method I'm showing you here. But there's also Chris Titus Tech's uh, tool here if you want to run that as well. A lot of people like to run that tool. I personally don't use that particular type of software, but if you do, there is an option there for you to be able to run that as well during this stage so let's go ahead and click on it and i'll show you what it looks like so here it will open up an application which will give you options to install applications you can see there's a heap of them right here again like i said before it is a quick way of installing stuff but i prefer to go to the website i know it takes more time but again that's just my personal preference because you don't know what's happening on the back end with those installations and it can be a bit risky if they're not monitored properly so looking at the application right here there's some options available where you can check mark what you want to disable we clicked on the standard options and there's some extra ones here if you want to use them you can do again use some caution here if you want to be uh, using this just be mindful about what you're uninstalling and disabling because you might need that a little bit later on uh, down the line and this is the problem with these particular applications uh, one size doesn't fit all and if you basically run this without thinking and knowing what you're doing you can end up uninstalling an application say like microsoft store that you might need and again once it's uninstalled if you're not knowledgeable enough you might not know how to get that reinstalled again and this is where a lot of these apps fall down a little bit so you've got to be a bit more careful about what you're doing so there's some other options on here. It is a very good, powerful tool for cleaning up windows and making it more lightweight and uh, making it more usable, in my opinion. There's plenty of options out there. You just choose which one suits you. Disabling Windows updates is never recommended. Uh, the security updates is just here, so you won't receive any feature updates, but you will need Windows uh, 11 Pro and above to be able to use that feature. Otherwise, it will just keep installing updates and it would ignore it. And what we're going to do is quickly restart the PC uh, once we've done this. And once it's done, we'll get back to the desktop and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Again, you can do some other little tweaks that might have been missed yourself. It wouldn't take long to do those. Uh, maybe in the taskbar or something like that, you might want to tidy that up a little bit like I've done here. And you should be up and running. It's that simple. And again, it took no time whatsoever. And we've got a nice clean looking operating system. I've left Xbox on here and I've left the Microsoft Store on here because those two are generally used by a lot of people. And if you rip them out, you might run into a few issues with certain things that you're trying to do on Windows. And it's a real shame you have to jump through hoops like this on Windows 11. But unfortunately, that's what you have to do to be able to get your system uh, running the way you want and without any sort of AI or bloat. I would go a step further and install Start 11 for the Start menu because I believe that is the best Start menu out there and it will give you the finished package for Windows 11 and make Windows 11 a lot more usable in my personal experience. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.